Hey family, Adam back with a video. It is still Thursday, September the 1st, 2022. And family, the word of God in Acts 2.17 says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Now, family, I'm telling you, man, the Most High God is truly, and I mean truly, pouring His Spirit out upon all flesh. Many people all across the world are having prophetic dreams and visions of end times events and even other things. So, family, I got a dream right here from Brother Blanton, and the Lord laid it really heavily on my heart to share this dream with you guys. So, I'm going to be obedient. Here's the dream. What's up, Adam? My name is Blanton. I'd like to share a dream I had with you and your channel. I had this dream a few years ago. I actually had it while I was deployed with the army. At the time, I wasn't the follower of Jesus. I could have cared less about faith. My aunt would always witness to me, but I never really gave her any mind. Back to my dream. In the dream, I was at Times Square, and there was a gentleman street preaching. He kept telling everyone, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The man also kept on saying, Jesus is coming soon. People in the crowd or that was walking by was making fun of him. One guy walked by and then threw a beer in his face. But the man kept preaching, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. Jesus is coming soon. But people kept on making fun of him and messing with him. Someone even said they've been saying that for years. Jesus isn't real and Jesus isn't coming for anybody. But no matter what anyone said, that man kept on preaching, and you could just see the love all over his face while he was preaching. And then, all of a sudden, the buildings began to sway. They were rocking back and forth, and the sun had thick clouds roll all over the entire sun. Before that, it was a sunny day, but it's like the clouds rolled in and covered the sun. You could still see, but visibility was very minimal. Then all of a sudden, the clouds rolled away, and the sky was clear again. Next thing I know, the preacher is gone, and people were calling for people's names and crying. People had just vanished, and what really sticks out to me about this dream is the confusion. You can see the confusion all over everyone's face. Everyone was frantic and panicking in the crowd, and they kept on saying, No, 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 no. Jesus has come, and we have missed it. And then I woke up. Dude, at the time, I had no idea what the rapture was. I emailed my aunt because I knew she would want to hear about the dream because it had to do with Jesus. Not too long after that, my battle buddy and me was at chapel. Him and I both got saved that day. After the dream, I knew God was real. So the first chance I got, I told my aunt I was now saved. Her and I both cried, and she told me what I saw was the catching away of the saints, the rapture. And here I am, 10 years later, and God is still moving in my life. My aunt died of breast cancer a few years ago, but I know I'll see her again soon. Over the years, I've realized the significance of my dream, and I realized I wasn't alone. Many others are having similar dreams. It's amazing the way God works. Like I said, watch Bantam, please consider sharing this dream with the channel. Much love, Brother Blanton. If any of you guys have any dreams or visions from the Lord that you want to drop below in the comment section, go ahead. And family, let me say this real quick. I think this is very important. Whenever you listen to someone else's dream or vision, or if you read it on a blog or whatever, make sure that you always use the sermon. Always seek the most high about it, and always line it up with the Word of God. Well, family, like I said, I just felt led to get on here and share this dream with you guys real quick. Please keep us in your prayers. we got to get some of our hope bags, Pat. We'll be giving out some tomorrow, so your prayers will be greatly appreciated. And guys, September is going to be a very interesting month, man. Y'all guys keep on looking up. You guys stay encouraged. Make sure that you're praying to the Lord daily and stay in that full armor of God. Because the enemy is roaring around, and he's looking for people to devour and attack. But this is the thing about it. We're children of the Most High God, and God always has our back. So family, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And if any of you guys happen to be new here, man, consider hitting that subscribe button and join our channel, family. Because on this channel, you guys truly are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. 
And if you guys want to sow a seed into what we do with the homeless, man, check the description box below. There's ways you could do so. As always, please pray about it first. If nothing else, man, please make sure you keep the Watchman Street team in your prayers. Well, family, till next time, Watchman Adam signing out. I love you guys and keep on looking up.